Mars. I understand your frustration, Mr. Knapp. Finding everyone that has gone missing is my top priority, but we need more evidence before we can act. Evidence? Well, what more do you need, huh? Are you saying my Cassie is a liar? No, that's not what I'm saying at all. Initiate. Excellent timing. There's something we should discuss. Mr. Knapp here has come to us with another missing persons case. My niece Cassie. Cassie Holloway. She paid some caravan and folk to help her travel here from out west. Sent me some letters just before she set out. Them letters arrived just fine, but she didn't. I went and spoke with them caravanners, and they tell me that my Cassie never set out with them at all. Those, uh, Blue Mountain Watchers. Uh... The Blue Ridge Caravan Company. Really? This letter said they would acquire more people from Blue Ridge? Interesting. This is the first real lead we found, and it connects directly with what Mr. Knapp is reporting. Huh. I actually had my own suspicions about the organization, but this information certainly tips the scales. I've made several attempts to contact the Blue Ridge Caravan Company in hopes of trading supplies. They turn me down. Every time. I understand that the Brotherhood can be an intimidating presence. And the West Virginia chapter didn't exactly leave behind a shining legacy. But I think we've shown we have Appalachia's safety and security at heart. Yet, they remain unwilling to even speak. Hmm. I find it suspicious. During our travels, we found that a caravan group was just as often a cover for slavers and raiders. The friendly guys for rolling through towns. I didn't suspect Blue Ridge of such at first. But their repeated refusal to talk, Mr. Knapp's story, and this letter are simply too much to ignore. I imagine any shady operations they may have in play wouldn't be something so easy to stumble across. Though, it's good to know you've had some dealings with them. And maybe that'll provide a foot in the door. We need to investigate this Blue Ridge Caravan Company immediately. Well, they have an office at the west end of the Big Bend Tunnel. Initiate! I'd like you to meet me there. But try not to attract too much attention either. If they realize we're in the Brotherhood, they may clam up. That's right. Fort Atlas is secure for the time being, and with Shin out of commission, I'd like to step in and do my part. This is our strongest lead by far. The two of us need to act quickly if we hope to safely return those that went missing. Thank you, Initiate. At Victorian.
Ah, there you are, Anishi. I mean, friend. Sorry for the informality, but we should keep a low profile. Don't want to spook anyone that might be listening in. Huh. Don't get too used to that. But listen. I was hoping we could talk for a few minutes before we head upstairs. Let me buy you a drink. What do you say? Oh, cut the crap. I'm being real here. Are there are some things we need to hash out. Come on, pull up a stool. Great. Take a seat. What can I get for you? Neat! <laughs> well, you sure as shit ain't getting it on the rocks. Okay, here you go. Enjoy. Huh. A fine choice. Salomati, my friend. That's interesting phrasing. Join. Never really thought about it that way. I was already in the National Guard. Helping people, maintaining peace. That was my life. But Brotherhood didn't feel like a new organization. It felt like regrouping with my people. A return to form. Maybe some ranks and verbiage changed, but the heart of it was there. I'm not sure I even gave it a second thought. It was. Even knowing what I know now, I have no regrets. They were my people. My comrades. But things changed as time rolled on. As I'm sure you know, the views of the Elders and I... differed greatly. Sometimes I think... No. I'm certain that I was selected for this mission in order to remove my perspective and influence. The Elders saw my pull and experience as a threat and knew I would never align with their goals. What better way to prevent my meddling than to send me packing on a cross-country venture? I often wonder if they ever expected me to report in at all. To make it here alive. Joke's on them, I guess. Alan Connors. That's right. Dear, dear friend. The two of us were from the same unit in the National Guard. Alan had been my rock through every storm I weathered. We survived the bombs together, joined the Brotherhood together. He was more than my right hand. He was really a lifelong companion. I never really considered a world without him. Not just to me, either. To both Valdez and Shin. He was like a big brother. Even a father. He was always there for them. That's the part that gets to me. He was an important person to damn near everyone. It's what makes his absence hurt even more. Indeed. He was the bedrock of this team. And things were never the same with Shin from then on. But when we lost Alan, Shin stepped up to take on many of his responsibilities. He was on top of the grief. 
That must have been a lot to handle. It led him to fall back on what he knows. Rules and doctrine. He doesn't trust anyone else to help him see beyond that. Not like he trusted Alan. And because of me, because of a call I made, we all lost him. I know Shin will never forgive me for it. No. I was the commanding officer. Blame starts at the top. That's one subject the two of us agree on, even if he doesn't realize it. I'll let that one slide, since we're off duty, so to speak. But don't for a minute think that you're in a position to lecture me on the responsibilities of my station. If anything, I fought against my better instincts and went with a plan that I myself doubted. But that kind of reflection is fruitless. I made the final call. The burden lies on my shoulders. I hope, at least, you can start to see things from my perspective more. To understand why I make the choices I make. I think that's a fine idea. To whom? Yes. Tonight, Alan Connors. May he never be forgotten. Besalamati. Now, on to business. Let's head upstairs. And remember to keep a low profile. We're just a pair of friendly traders looking for potential business. Look out, here comes trouble. I'm afraid Ms. my Mayfield. calendar is all out my of room for Layla. idle chatter, I dear. to speak with you. Please, Joanna is just fine, dear. And while all this cloak and dagger hubbub is flattering, why don't we cut to the chase, Paladin Romani? Well, that was short-lived. Okay, Joanna, it appears I underestimated you. And if it isn't my employee of the month, I was wondering when we'd get the chance to chat. I've made quite a pretty penny, thanks to your help. So many pretty pennies, I think I might hold the pageant. You still trying to get that backpack, dear? Plenty of work left to be done, you know. I'd appreciate if the job offers were saved for later. We're here on pressing business. Okay, Paladin. Down to brass tacks, then. It's not an accident that I finally opted to meet with you after playing hard to get for so long. We know you're interested in the folks that have gone missing. We are too. Been looking into it for a spell now. All right. That's fine by me. Right now, the most important thing is finding everyone that has gone missing and returning them home. Being upfront with your involvement in this now will be looked upon favorably, because we're not stopping until this is solved and they are safe. Slow down, Paladin. This is not an admission of guilt or an attempt to weasel out of responsibility. We are just as concerned about these folk as you. We're willing to cooperate in hopes of saving lives, nothing else. And if you're hoping I'm about to spill the beans on some secret abduction scheme, you're out of luck. We have the same goals as you in this. Honeyed words, but we should proceed. What can you tell us about the people that went missing from your caravan? Better to just let you take a look for yourselves. Ares! Come on in here! This guy looks like some kind of guard. Probably armed. Don't take your eye off him, Initiate. Worked with him before, have you? Just remember where these hired guns' loyalties lie. The people paying them. Don't let your guard down just yet. You ring, boss? Harper's Ferry, the train tunnel. Mind showing our guests the route? Oh, crap. You really want to go back there? That was exactly my thinking, Ares. 
Head on over to that tunnel and show this duo of detectives the scene of the crime. Does that sound amenable to y'all? Well, the last known whereabouts of one of our caravans. They set up camp there, but come morning, the entire place was abandoned. It was a big group, maybe around 15, including our own guard. You've lost that many people? And we're only just now hearing about this. <sighs> That's all me. I chose to keep this off the books. Maybe a bad call, but let's save examine in hindsight for when we've gotten to the bottom of this. The train tunnel itself isn't so important, but underneath is a top secret gas pipeline running all the way out of the region. It's a pretty discreet route. Safe too, comparatively. Except, uh, <clears throat> the most recent trip. Okie dokie, I'll meet you there. It's the big fancy train tunnel, just east of Harper's Ferry. Now, time is money, and I've burned a bottle and plant worth of caps chatting with you two. So if you don't mind, please direct any further inquiries to my masked associate. Fine. But after reviewing the evidence, I plan to revisit Blue Ridge's involvement in this matter. By all means. If you find something that gets us answers, we can talk to the Brahmin come home.
Initiate, glad you made it here safely. That Ares character is further ahead. I should mention, every instinct I have is telling me not to trust him. It seems we don't have much choice for the time being, but we'd be wise to keep an eye on him. All right, you take point. The guns are the ready. I spotted some feral ghouls earlier. for is further in the facility. There's a trick to getting in. Give me one shake of a lamb squatch's tail to get it open. <laughs> Let's see, 30 days past September, carry the two. <sighs> is this for real? You. It's just a little further ahead. Please, after you. Fine. But don't think we aren't keeping an eye on you. I can't blame you. I know I'm a real looker. Bring your own paramilitary night, so the Paladin drinks for free. Ah, just your run-of-the-mill illegal natural gas pipeline, courtesy of the fine people at the Bish Company. A bit before the war, Bish offered to maintain this historic train tunnel out of the goodness of their cold, corporate hearts. And wouldn't you know it, they may have had an ulterior motive. The bad news is that I can't unseal that door. Here's the quick version. Clever little me locks that door by setting off a bogus gas leak alarm. But it looks like in order to lift the lockdown, you need to verify there's actually no gas leak. The door is real picky like that. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like... 
Oh, I'd love to, but there's a little problem. If you'll cast your steely gaze to the left, you'll see a massive, impenetrable wall of strangler vines. To verify there's no gas leak, we need to get to the pump room. One guess where the pump room is located. Winner, winner, red steak dinner. There were some engineers living down here well after the bombs fell. Looks like they lasted a few years even. Which means they had a way of fighting back the vines. Maybe start by looking for how they do that. <laughs> Welcome to the... the bat... here's the quick... bye. Oh, bye. If you'll... to verify... Winner, winner! There were some engineers... which means... Mm-hmm. We'll just skulk here in the corner in case another way of opening this door comes to mind. Let me know if you have any luck. Try not to die a terrible death. This sounds like a very contrived way of getting us killed. Stay sharp, Initiate. something to deal with the vines? I think they see some kind of chemical on the ground there. We need to find a way to unlock this door. sesame seed, eh? I've always been more of an everything bagel person.
sound of it, we wrote the numbering system down so they wouldn't need to remember it. Must be around here somewhere. Looks like we'll need more than just a password to get through. Some kind of code for turning words into numbers, it seems. So, I guess we'll need to find a way to change open sesame seed into a series of numbers. Done, Initiate. That was some impressive detective work. Let's have a look at this. Aha! My hunt was right. According to the label, they made an extremely potent herbicide. Judging from this container, it looks like it's meant to be dispersed into a larger system. No sprinklers in here, so... The facility's water line? That would explain the bodies out there, but why? They must have known this would happen. No time to dwell on that. Initiate, let's look for a station where we can access the water line. This is what we need to weaken the vines.
Here we go. This looks like it connects to the main water line. Let's talk next steps. I should be able to disperse the herbicide into the water line from here. I'm suspecting that the security system here won't appreciate that. Expect alarms. And the company that alarms tend to attract. Ready for a fight? Okay. Fingers crossed and guns at the ready. Let's take a look here. Okay. The chemical has started dispersing into the water systems. Damn. It's detected a foreign substance. Prepare for it to get noisy in here. Initiate, I'll need you to keep them off my back. Ad Victorium. time. Keep it up.
your system if we're going to affect the mines. system now. Do we assess pipe that was for disposing of unwanted chemicals? Well, one sleazy company's environmental negligence is our gain, I suppose. Those vines should be weak enough to break through now. I, uh, wouldn't drink the water if I were you, though. That's trouble. Be on the lookout.
Voltron dressed up as a sheep? Ever it was, it's dead. We should be able to lift the lockdown. Let's get back to that terminal. And that's that. Time to head back to Ares. He has anything to do with all this. Your boss looks like she's about to strangle me with one of those vines. Something happened in there? Between the feral ghouls, the strangler vines, and that insane sheep robot, I've about reached my limit with this place. And your antics. I don't know if this is some kind of trap or elaborate cover-up, but we need to get through that door and get answers. Now! Whoa, whoa, trap? Where's this coming from? Hold up. Did you say sheep robot? Uh, like the Baba kind or the killer robot kind? Ares, the door! Now! Please! Okay, just give me a second. Yeesh. Nearly there now. We're getting closer to the truth. I can feel it. I hope you're right. I'd like to believe he's innocent in all of this, but I can't lose sight of the goal. Finding the missing people, like Cassie, is a time-sensitive, life-or-death situation. That comes first. All right, let's see here. Login credentials, check. In terms of employments, yeah, yeah. Benefits enrollments expired, sure, sure. And done. Trust me now? I'm gonna lead the way, so if you change your mind, it'll be easier to shoot me in the back. Thank you for opening the door. But know that if we find anything linking you to this, you're still going to have to answer for it. Add it to the catalog of questionable things I already have to answer for.
Seems like you've been pretty thorough. Are you ready to discuss what you've found? Excellent. I'll take what you've collected. Let me take a look at what you've found. I just need a minute to review it all. Pull out your decoder rings, kids. It's detective time. Let's see. That's concerning. Wait a moment. This name. I know this name. I think I've seen enough. Initiate, we should discuss our findings. Well, it seems like Cassie was indeed a part of this caravan group, but I think it'd be a good idea to step through the evidence together. I may have been assuming too much about Blue Ridge's involvement. I'd like to be on the same page. So where would you like to start? Yes. It would seem this was a routine trip until the end. Something kept them here and forced them to set up camp so close to home. That's right. The storm forced them to bunk down. They were an extra large group, too, with only one guard. Sitting ducks. Indeed. It looks like we have a clear account of their last moments here. That was my take as well. Based on Cassie's description and the letter you found earlier, we can assume they were these Hellcat mercenaries. The total number of people they've abducted, though, is staggering. Nearly 15 in this trip alone. Are you sure? I think we should be on the same page before we take action. Oh, how considerate of you. All right then, here's what I've concluded. The caravan was ambushed by armed strangers, likely the Hellcat mercenaries you fought. Based on the manifest, a Dr. Blackburn attended every trip where someone went missing, including the final one. All of the evidence together points to one clear answer. Dr. Blackburn was hiring these Hellcat mercenaries to kidnap people from this route. It would appear they were cautious at first, but took advantage of a rad storm to steal away an entire group. An unfortunate end, but there's still hope of finding them. The only thing left is to report back our findings and determine Blackburn's location. I'm glad I had you here, Initiate. There's a few things I'm sure I would have missed if you hadn't been here to help. I do believe we make a pretty great team. I know you do, Initiate. I appreciate it. I really do. I'm a bit ashamed of how quick I was to jump to conclusions on this matter. It's something I know I need to change. But even still, I'm thankful that you continue to place your trust in me. Anyway, we should get back to Atlas and report what we found. If we can determine where Blackburn took this group, we may be able to track down Cassie, and perhaps countless others. I'll meet you there. Good work, Initiate. behavior was unfitting of my position, and frankly, unfair to you. Ah, water under the bridge. All of my best friendships start with misplaced suspicion of mass kidnapping. I will take your word for it. I am sorry either way. If you really want to make it up to me, I've heard you guys have some killer rocket launchers to spare. Absolutely not. <laughs> 